What's up, ladies and dudes? So the other day, I watched a movie called Dog Years, and it was a trauma film, which means that the writing was bad. Really, really, really bad. It relied heavily on cursing as the jokes, um, which isn't funny, <laughs> uh, mostly, um, unless you set it up to be funny, with clever writing. But this had really terrible writing, and it wasn't funny at all. Well, it was about a guy who has a dog, and he really loves his dog. And he kind of looks like a skinhead, but he's not a skinhead, which he says over and over again. Everybody calls him a skinhead. He just has a shaved head and combat boots and stuff. He's like, I'm not a skinhead. I guess that was supposed to be the moral not to judge people, but it was dumb. <laughs> and... Some guy, like, steals a purse, or, like, steals mo drug money from somebody, and he's running around, and he trips over the guy who's walking his dog, and he gets up, and he kicks the dog, he's like, fucking dog, and then, um, he, um, <laughs> randomly, the people who are trying to, he's, the guy stole the drug money from, think he gave it to the guy who kicked his dog, the guy who's walking the dog. He's like, no, he just kicked my dog. So the whole movie, the people that stole, um, the people that the guy, the money stole from the drug money think that the guy has it for some reason, that has the dog. For no reason. You saw him, clearly they doesn't. So, the whole movie, they steal a guy's dog while he's at work. They pick it up, the dog from the vet, um, after he gets checked out, you know, because he got kicked and stuff. And they steal the dog, and then that's it. And the guy has to get it back, so he kills them all. And the F-bombs over and over and over and over. The whole writing is, F this, F this, F that, F that. And that's not fun to watch. It's not funny. At least in stuff like South Park. Usually there's some sort of joke around it. But I mean, they cuss a lot too for no reason. But they set it up, you know, the characters are funny. And, you know, that characters have personality, so it's funny. In this movie, it's just a guy that says the F word and looks like a skinhead, but he's not. And then there's some stuff too, racial stuff in it. And they try to give messages about that too. He, the girl at... um at the vet, send him down, he just gets all pissed off, at the vet is black, and she helps him out, and he's like, she's like, it must be so hard for you to accept help from me, and he's like, why, she's like, because I'm black, and you're a skinhead, and he's like, I'm not a skinhead, whoa, I just have to shave my head, and at one point he's like, can you take me home real quick, I need to shave my head again, and it's like, is that funny, no, sucks, but, so bad, this movie was bad, very low budget. Probably the lowest out of any movie I've ever seen. Um, this year, for sure. It's $7,000 budget. Um, it said, at the beginning of the movie, there was like a 10 minute thing where they do a lot of the trauma films. When they re-release them on DVD, the guy, the main trauma guy, I can't remember his name, whatever, he's annoying, um, talks about it a little bit and he says a bunch of bad words and he's, whoa, he's so edgy because he says bad words and there's nudity. I hate movies like this. I hate it that rely on cursing and, you know, nudity. There wasn't much nudity in this movie. Actually, I don't think at all. Um, but bad. I don't recommend it to anyone unless you're trying to, like, find something really boring. <laughs> it was not good. Alright, next time guys, see ya.